Hello. You know, just what is the deal with the lighting? I added lighting today behind me. Uh, I don't know. This is Jenny Walker with Jenny Girl's Closet. Uh, 4th of July, 2019. We had an earthquake today. I was standing there going, wait, what's wrong? Do I have dizziness? And uh, I saw my rolling rack start swaying and the blinds. I have these, you know, vertical blinds and they were swaying. Everything was swaying. And I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> That's not dizziness. That's an earthquake. Um, so yeah, we could feel it here in Pasadena. So, but everybody's okay, which is great. Um, so yeah, so it is for July. I have been working on my Poshmark all day and, uh, took a little bit of a break, but now I am back and want to show you some of the things that were returned. Well, all the things that didn't sell at Fred Up Luck. And I want to show those to you because once I get them on this video, then I can reprocess them up for sale or perhaps trade them somewhere or send them somewhere else. So that's what I'm here to talk about. So happy fourth and uh, let's get started. So uh, I've got the uh, infamous dotted box and um, there's two this size. So I'm going to do my best to um, just pull things out of the top and show them to you. Oh yeah, you didn't see me. You know, I didn't make it to the outlets today. My friend Michael had other plans, but um, yeah, that would have been fun. I'm shouldn't have, see what happens when you say something and you're not sure. <laughs> Sorry about that. That would have been fun. I hope you found some uh, good stuff there, Nike boxes. So the first thing that didn't sell was uh, a Barney's New York uh, polyester um, drape front blouse. Um, you know, nobody's really looking for Barney's. Uh, this is the kind of thing that if it sells, it's a happy accident. It would do better like in a physical store where someone could see it. Uh, but I think online, um, it's just not a brand people are looking for um, so much. And um, nothing wrong with it. It is polyester. It's not the greatest fabric in the world. It's a, a house brand, a private label. Um, you know, it just is what it is. This is sort of a... This kind of clothing is like an afterthought, but I did like, I like the colors. I thought the brand was good and I was hoping someone would buy it and I was wrong. So back it came. So let's see what else we have. Um, one McQueen tank, nothing else worth mentioning. Well, one McQueen tank is worth it. Um, absolutely. That's fantastic. Um, so anyway, the next is a Juicy Couture. This brand, um, you know, is out of favor, but I, when I picked this up, it was when it was first going out of favor. So I didn't know, but this is as cute as it is. It says, um, Instaglam. It's got silver. It's got little silver sequins, Instaglam. This is Juicy Couture, but no one bought this on the, on, um, thread up. And so it got sent back to me. This is not anything I would pick up again because Juicy Couture is out of favor. So, um, so we're all learning here. Juicy Couture, there's no point. Uh, so yeah, so I wouldn't pick that up again. Look, Mary, Mary Deals, Miss Deals is here. Awesome. We well, you know Mary. When I was younger, I used to spell my name with a Y. So. Um, just don't call me Jennifer because I will not turn around in a fire or an earthquake if somebody starts calling Jennifer because I don't know who that is. Um, DKNY, I understand why it didn't sell. DKNY is hit or miss. And this is, I thought it was cool. It's an olive green chip dress with um, these really cool plastic sequins on it. But, you know, it's a um, little bit dated. And I think that's why. It's, uh, this is something that... I don't know. Wouldn't buy it again. Matter of fact, I was at the bins recently and I had a DK and Win jacket and I just didn't buy it because I thought there's just no point. It's not a hot brand, so why torture myself with another jacket? It's not going to sell. Um, this is a Trina Turk fit and flare dress. There's nothing wrong with this dress. Um, there's a lot of choices on online on Thread Up, and this is just a bright, colorful dress. Uh, that didn't sell. It's your basic fit and flare. 
And, you know, there's a million of these out there, and I'm sure that's why it didn't sell. It's just not that special. And um, we all have to get better in choosing more interesting things to have a better chance of selling them because the whole world is out there selling now. So we have to be competitive and be as unique as possible. This dress, I am not, look how dark it is. What is the deal? So this dress, I am not surprised, didn't sell. Um, shouldn't have picked it up, but it's uh, JS Collections. It's just your basic kind of evening dress. Cheap evening dress, inexpensive, not all fancy. Um, you know, this is something you'd buy at a Macy's if you were going out. There's just, <laughs> there's just, I thought it was cool, but... Nobody wants that for any price, for any reason. So that was a bad buy, and that's just the way it is. And I just have to acknowledge that. So I couldn't sell it. ThreadUp couldn't sell it. Now my only other chance to see if I can trade it in somewhere, which, which I will try to do. Um, we'll definitely try to trade that in somewhere and see if I can't just get rid of it at this point because there's nothing worth holding on to there. Um. This, they offered me a payout on this thing. I should have taken it. Libertine Emanuel Black Leather Biker Vest. This I'm going to keep. I'm going to relist on Poshmark because it's awesome. It's dated in terms of the brand. This brand has not been out since the 90s, I think. Uh, but it's a really cool style. So based on style, I might be able to sell that. Um, no one was looking for that on a <laughs> thread up. Now, this brand I thought might sell. This is Lafayette 148, but I'm not going to call this unattractive because I did actually buy it, but um, it's just nothing. It's not special. It's not special enough. It was new with tags, so sometimes we get excited by new with tags and we shouldn't because if it's it doesn't matter if it's new with tags if it's undesirable style, so you don't know. But I loved the color, this beautiful blue, and... Um, but nobody wanted it. Nobody wanted that through thread up. So that I'm going to, uh, I don't know, trade in, get rid of it, put it up on eBay. I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, these are just bad buys. Uh, what I'm not going to do is just donate it all because I do donate things. I donate several bags this weekend. Um, but uh, I'd like to make sure I can't sell it and I can't trade it before I donate it so that I've tried everything possible to turn it and then I donate. Um, but some of those I think I have some hope for and some I don't. Let's see who else is on here. Earthquake. <laughs> what, right now? What? Hmm. You mean now? Because I did experience the earthquake earlier. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's going to be some aftershocks. Oh, in the morning. Yeah. That'll keep you away from the bins right there. <laughs> it's an earthquake. So this is uh, Bird by Juicy Couture. I've sold a couple things by Bird by Bird, Juicy Couture. This is um, a really cute kind of moto style tweed jacket. It did not sell. And... Um, I'll probably relist that for the fall on Poshmark um, and keep at that. Oh, look. One of the thread up things. <laughs> I don't know what to do with that. Uh, this jacket will probably try in the fall. Um, it was the wrong season to send this to them. And um, part of the things you have to realize is there's only so many months they have to try to sell it. So if you sit in something the wrong season, it might not sell because of that. This is Haas. Nobody's looking for this brand. But it was wool and cashmere, which is why I bought it. Nice brown um, coat. Uh, it's got a hood on it. Again, we know <laughs> it's the worst lighting ever. Look, look I, just, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. So, um, sorry, guys. So... All right. But anyway, that coat, it's no brand. And the style isn't good enough to sell on style. And um, this is a brand game. And so nobody's looking for that brand. Um, so it didn't sell. And we have to learn from that and not buy it again. So I make mistakes just like everyone else. And um, that's why I'm focused more on designer stuff now, on uh, things with brands, uh, strong brands like... Um, Alexander McQueen and Moschino and 
Alice and Olivia. There's certain brands that just seem to um, to sell well. And so we just all have to learn from that. And it is a moving target. I mean, what sells one season doesn't the next. Le Petite's collection, black velvet uh, pants, just classic pants. And I think they didn't sell because nobody's looking for this brand. They take this brand, but nobody, was, nobody bought it and there's the wrong season. So I sent in have two clothes that were too heavy for the months they were going to be able to sell it. So that's my fault. I don't know that anyone would have bought that anyway, because nobody's really, if I just need a plain pair of pants, I don't think I'm going to go up and thread up and buy that. If I just need a pair of black pants, I'm probably going to go locally. Um, so what are you going to do? This is a sport max code, which is part of the max Mara family. Now this I thought would sell. This is super cute. It's like maroon and gray kind of tweed jacket. I'll try to sell that again in the fall um, because it's a good piece. But they know why he bought it on ThreadUp. So what are you going to do? Um, hold on. I have to get my boxes in order here. Um, let's see. Now I know that I know why. Oh look, <laughs> the box wants to be seen. Um, I know why this didn't sell. This is another Juicy Couture. Do not buy this brand. <laughs> do not do it. Um, retro 80s style dress with um, layered ruffles. Juicy Couture. Just don't bother. It just doesn't have any value. And I'm not going to show you the dress. We'll show you the brand is enough. Again, DKNY is not moving. So as cute as this dress is, the sequins, nobody's looking for that. Nobody wants that. They don't want DKNY. And it's a shame because they make cute stuff. This vest um, would probably do better on eBay. This is a Pendleton vintage vest. And there's so many people who like Pendleton that are like in foreign countries that love American um, made vintage uh this Pendleton vest, wait, it's not Pendleton. Oh my God, wrong brand. <laughs> this is Lauren Ralph Lauren. It sure looked like Pendleton. Sorry about that guy. I got to, I thought I knew my own clothes and I don't. This is really cute green and um, navy blue wool vest, gold buttons and the little placket in the back. I will definitely relist that for fall because that's just cute. Um, Let's see what else didn't sell. Now, I know why this didn't sell. Like, I'm not even surprised. Uh, Trina Turk, it's a black silk stretch. Why are all the zippers undone? I guess I guess once they take the photo, they don't even take the time to zip it back up. That's my theory. Um, this tiered black midi-length skirt. Nobody wants that for any reason. It's just a throwaway piece. I can understand why that didn't sell. Now, this I did think would sell. Lafayette 148 uh, linens with kind of a shimmer to it and a nice um, kind of orange, burnt orange color with cool silver tone details. You know, but Lafayette 148 is not moving for me. And uh, let's see what else is it. <laughs> I got tissue. It's like an earthquake in here. We got tissue paper flying around. Oh, it's everywhere. Um, so the last couple of pieces, nobody's going to be surprised these didn't sell. I mean, seriously. Um, another piece of Juicy Couture. Do not buy any <laughs> Juicy Couture. Um, this one was even new with tags and nobody wanted it. It's just a cotton, like a little cotton dress with an exposed zipper on the side and kind of on one shoulder. Nobody wants that for any price. No Juicy. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see what else. Um, then, um, this Ungaro skirt, there's just nothing special about it. It's just a plain black skirt that nobody needs. Vintage. Nobody needs that. It's not special enough. And what sells are the things that are really special. So if it isn't different, um, 
I wouldn't be buying it because this is an ex this is a, this is a lot of money sitting here. I just threw on the floor, you know, and I've certainly made that money back selling other things, but we all have to be mindful that, um, sometimes these things just don't move. Hold on. So another <laughs> juicy couture that didn't sell. You see what's happening here? I thought this might sell because it's like a gray blazer, wool pinstripe. But there's really nothing. It has the juicy, I like the patch on the back. Nobody wants that for any reason. Um, that's why all this juicy has come back. Do not buy juicy. Not a good resale right now. And I just have one more thing in the box. Hold on. This I thought would have sold because people like this fan. Um, Casherelle. And it's a wool, 100% wool pencil skirt uh, with gray and like a white pinstripe. Um, and it even has this little kick pleats in the back. This I will definitely post and resell to resell. But all that juicy, it's getting out of here. And I'm not sure I can even trade it. I'm, I mean, you rarely even see that in the buy, sell, trade store. It just, um, I don't know. I meant to put it like on an auction, like try like an eBay auction just to move it. But um, you can see why all this stuff didn't sell. There's no mystery here. <laughs> now, the last thing I was that I sold on ThreadUp was a pair of Mother Jeans. They're paying me $69. I'll get for selling that one pair of jeans. I had paid like $5 for those jeans that out of the closet and I was unable to sell them on Poshmark and eBay and they were able to get a lot of money for that. So much that I'm getting $69, which is to me a lot of money for a pair of mother jeans that I wasn't able to move elsewhere. So that's really exciting. And, uh, and so, yeah, so that's what didn't sell on thread up. Now I am in the process of creating a new box for them. And, uh, you know, it, uh, it's going to have like, I think fall clothes in it because like, it's already basically July. So August, September, October, November. So they'll be selling into the winter months and, um, you know, it's going to take them, it'll take at least four weeks to even process it. So it's going to be August by the time my things even get there for processing. So think August, September. So I'm thinking fall closed, send them next and just see how it goes. What are your lights doing? You know, Ms. Deals, I don't have a clue. I have, I have no idea why I have such a hard time with lighting in here because I have an overhead light. Look, there it went. I have an overhead light. Oh my gosh, I have an overhead light. See, you could, there it is. <laughs> so I have an overhead light. Um, and then I put this light to the side thinking that would help today. Then I have kitchen lights. And, um, I just, don't, and I think it's because the window it's nighttime. So there's no light coming in from my windows, which usually is helpful. Um, so yeah. So, uh, yeah, so that's what, oh, who else is there? Sugar coated soul. Hello. Thank you for joining. Got about three people in the chat. That's fantastic. And, uh, yeah, so uh, there's no surprise what didn't sell. Um, I wouldn't buy any of that again. None of it. None of it I would I buy again. And I'm getting so picky now that it really has to be special to stand out in this sea of inventory that is everywhere online. And I feel like as a reseller, the competition is basically everybody. <laughs> Whether it's eBay or Poshmark or Real Real or Thread Up or you know, there's so many platforms now and if people are doing what I'm doing, I'm basically going on all the different platforms and looking around and trying to find things that are interesting usually to resell is what I'm looking for rather than to buy for myself. And um, I see a lot of marginal goods out there. And I think um, at some point you just have to recognize that you've made mistakes and get it out of your house and just get rid of it and donate it. And it's no longer worth the energy to try to take it to a Buffalo or a crossroads. At some point you just got to be like, okay, <laughs> I've exhausted all of my avenues and get rid of it. Cause it's not, I could have bought one Louis Vuitton handbag for the amount probably that I spent of all this stuff. And I think when I invest in better things, um, 
That means there's less inventory pieces around. I feel better about it. I'm not cluttered by so much uh, inferior product. And that's kind of why I'm raising the bar on everything. Smash that like button. She says, absolutely. <laughs> I got one whole like. Thank you. Somebody likes it. Yeah, if you like what you heard today, uh, I should get a thumbs up just for having the nerve to get on here on YouTube and do this. Uh, anyway, if you if you like what you heard and you haven't subscribed, please do hit the bell icon because I never know when I'm going online. Um, here I am at on 4th of July, <laughs> almost 10 o'clock at night. But that's when I had time to do it. So that's why I'm doing it. Oh, I got another like. Thank you so much. I'm surprised you're hitting the like button with such bad lighting. Um, I honestly don't know how to fix it. Uh, I, well, I need to buy some lighting. That's what I need to do. So uh, behind me, you'll see a Moschino jacket I acquired recently. It's kind of funky um, patchwork plaid. And um, so that's a little something. Um, you can see my steamer behind me. <laughs> You can see back there is a J. Crew dress I need to steam. I, I steam everything before I photograph it. And occasionally, if I don't, it slips through. It really messes up the look of my closets on uh, Poshmark and eBay. So I want to make sure I do that. Plus, it kills any critters that might be running around on there. All right. Uh, sugar code. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. So what are y'all doing here on 4th of July listening to me? Hopefully you had a good one. I spent my entire day doing personal things, uh, closed the consignment shop, and I spent all day um, just doing like laundry and uh, home stuff, listing on eBay, grocery shopping, just all that kind of stuff, and just enjoying a day off for a change. And um, hopefully y'all had a good time. And I am old enough to have been through so many different firework shows in my life. Um, that uh, I have seen many, many good ones. And um, so I don't feel like I have to go rush and see some more, but um, I'm happy to, uh, oh, look at the lighting. I guess it's time to go. Oh, you love the jacket? Yeah, it's super cool. Um, just got that in, so deciding whether to keep it or not, I probably will, because it's a little different. And uh, it's a longer line blazer, so for people who are, have a, a longer torso, They'll have, you know, things to choose from, from my Moschino collection. If you've not been following me on Instagram, please do. I'm working with a social media company that is handling all of that for me. We put up um, a beautiful Moschino dress with the American flag on it today. So it's just under Jenny Girl's Closet. So definitely check that out and follow me there. And the link is below. And uh, yeah, that's it. Having my ears challenged by fireworks. Yeah, yeah, well, that's what happens once a year here in America. So that's it. Um, I will hopefully tomorrow, I'm going to have my what sold video. I sold a bunch of stuff on Poshmark uh, over the last couple of days with the uh, closet clear out. Things that I was so excited to sell. Um, one of which was the uh, Coachella t-shirt I featured the other day from my Goodwill haul, it sold for $18. And uh, I pay, so I get 16. And the entire uh, uh, haul from the Goodwill bins was $20. So I've already almost made all my money back on one item. So that was so exciting. Um, so yeah. All right. I'll have my what sold video probably tomorrow morning. And I want, I'm waiting because I want to sell more stuff. <laughs> and hopefully it's a bigger pile to go through. And that's it. I appreciate y'all listening. If you've not, um, what is the deal? Checked out my podcast on iTunes. I posted another one on the real real today and, um, I'm going to have a lot to say about them, uh, now that they're public. And then of course, Poshmark has plans to go public later this year. So I'm all about following that kind of thing and studying the marketplace. All right, guys, thank you for being with me here, and I hope you have a great rest of your holiday weekend. I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Bye.